channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to try to make it look a lot more expensive than it really is. And the holidays, well, that's just one occasion where I try to kick it up even further. So guys, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I want to wish each and every one of you an early happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have fun with your friends and family. You enjoy your time away from work. You just enjoy time with family and just thanking, just thanking God for everything that he has blessed you with, your friends, your family, even those we may have lost they are still with us. The holidays are always such a rough time for families, especially families who have lost someone like myself. Like in our family, we lost my father, my brother, and then my sister. And so it's really hard during the holidays, but we know that they are all there with us. Um, and just keeping an eye and watching over us. They're like our guardian angels. So I just wanted to mention that before I get started in today's video. So again, I hope you guys all have a wonderful and awesome Thanksgiving. So today's video is going to be a little hodgepodge of everything. So we're going to start off, we're going to do like a little DIY. Um, I want to show you, oh, remember those spheres that I was telling you about from CB2 that we were going to DIY? We did that. Um, we did some DIY ornaments. I didn't take you along much for that but I love how they turned out I hope you do as well and then at the end of the video I'm going to share with you guys my Christmas tree so guys I'm so excited about my Christmas tree it is different it is unique it's not over the top but it's different than anything I have ever done before and I am absolutely in love with it if you're looking behind me you can see how I've decorated my entryway. You can see I've switched up a few things if you saw my last video. So if you didn't see the last video, I will leave it linked in the description box down below. I showed you how I have decorated my hallway. There's a video on how I have decorated my entryway. There's a video on how I have decorated my lounge here. So my lounge, so every year I do something whimsical for my little grandchildren. Last year it was in the living room. It was a Grinch um, themed Christmas tree. We did a candy land. And this year it's in the lounge. And I will say, I love how it came together. I, I wish though that I had put it in a different area of the room because it's a little out of place with everything else that I have done here on the first floor. So I think next year I'm gonna put it in the loft but it is so cute. So if you missed the video, make sure you go check it out because, oh my gosh, it's so whimsical, so magical. I know my little grandbabies are gonna love it. It is Pottery Barn inspired on a budget. And I think I did a really good job. And you guys think so too. So if you haven't watched the video, make sure you go check it out. So enough rambling guys. Again, I wish you and your family a very joyous and happy Thanksgiving. Now let's get in today's video. Oh, before we get into today's video, if you missed it, I did change my Santa and he was only $50. It's Black Friday. If you're looking for a Santa for your house, run to Home Depot and make sure you go watch the video. All right, so today we are going to do a little DIY. So I told you guys I wanted to use emerald green on my tree, but I want to kick it up a notch. So. I thought that I would add this gold leaf to our green balls to kick it up a notch. You know, I love using gold as an accent color and you know, I love decorating in black and white and our tree is white. So I thought this would make these ornaments pop. So let's get started. <laughs>
this is how our ornaments are looking. So I'm going to let the Mod Podge dry and then we'll come back and we'll brush off the extra <clears throat> gold leaf. However, we've had a casualty. I told you guys, <laughs> I didn't know how long my ornaments would stay attached to the ceiling. Even though I used duct tape, one of my really pretty ornaments fell and broke. And this is what we have. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try and I don't know, hot glue this together <laughs> to make a different ornament. You know, I think I can make it work. And we'll salvage what we have, but yeah, so this is the project. Well, where there's a will, there's a way. So I have hot glued <laughs> the top back on. And this is how our ornament is looking. We lost the middle part, but we still have these two pieces. And yeah, I'm gonna probably add a piece of tape in the middle, clear tape as well to give it a little extra reinforcement and then we're just gonna hang it back up so yeah we salvaged what we could and i think we did a really good job okay so we're baking a cake for thanksgiving dinner my family has requested old-fashioned jam cake with caramel icing who knows about that if you're from the south you know about that Southern jam cake with the caramel frosting. Leave me a comment down below. Did you go to your grandmother's house and she have that cake? Mine did, both my grandmother's, and it was oh so delicious. So I can only hope I can make them proud today. Keep your fingers crossed. Of course, it won't be old fashioned jam cake without the bourbon, of course. We gotta have the bourbon. First two layers of the cake down, and I tell you, Grandma Prudy and Grandma Margaret are in the kitchen with me today. Look at that, I'm telling you. From what I tasted so far, this cake is gonna be fire. Remember those balloons I told you guys about that we were going to try to recreate our crate and barrel, no, it was our CB2 inspired spears. Those spears, you know, they're pretty, they're expensive. They'll take up a lot of space. I won't have them out all the time. So I thought, hey, we'll just take some balloons. These balloons I had last year that I was going to do a DIY with that I never got around to. So yeah, we're gonna pump these up and create our own spears. So if you wanna see how they're gonna turn out, make sure you watch till the end. All right, here's the pump that I got for my grandbabies to blow up something for them. And here is our beach ball. So clean old beach ball and I apologize for the poor lighting it's just what we have like I said time changes 
we lose light we gotta work with what we have but anyway here is the pump and I'm gonna blow up the ball all right here's the ball spray paint let's do it guys so this is how my Christmas tree is looking here in my family room for 2023 it is different than what I would normally do I don't know the tree it looks modern to me it's it's giving me CB2 vibes leave me a comment down below let me know if you agree you guys know I love CB2 I love getting the Lux look for less and I think we have achieved that look I absolutely love it so initially I was going to do a green tree and unfortunately as I told you earlier with the new artwork in here the green tree just did not mesh it just did not go so I had to switch it up and evolve and the tree turned into something I think in my humble opinion that is very unique outside the box not something that you would see in everyone else's home so let me tell you a little bit about the tree so first off let's start over here so I told you guys I wanted to do a holy theme and this is one of the scenes the other one's gonna be upstairs in my loft um, but I went ahead and put this one together. As I told you guys, I feel like I'm running out of time. Like Thanksgiving is tomorrow. And normally I would have my house decorated. And I only have, I'm, I'm mostly done. I still have one room to go. And I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to decorate my master. I don't like feeling pressure. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below. Let me go, let me know, guys, if you guys are fully decorated for Christmas or if you're still decorating. And if you are keeping it minimal or if you are going all out for Christmas. So I was going to go all out for Christmas and I decided, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I, I think what I have done is enough. So I'm just going to do the loft, maybe put a few things in the master and that's it. So yeah, let's get back to the video. So here is one of the holy themes. I absolutely love it. So I showed you guys this nativity. It came from Ross. It was $21.99. Very affordable as far as nativity scenes go and the size. And of course, my refrigerator would have to go off as soon as I do a video. Okay. So, when I got the nativity scene, I wished it was a nativity scene featuring a brown nativity, but it wasn't. So, I just added a little bit of brown paint to make 
the family, the Holy Family Brown, and the wise men were brown skinned anyway. So there you go. <laughs> so anyway, I just love the nativity. I love how it came out. I love how it came together. And then I added the little Target angels. These were $10 a piece. And the angels are also looking over the baby Jesus. And then, of course, there was a star that guided the wise men to the birth of baby Jesus. And so I have added these stars that I picked up from Target. They were part of Threshold or the Wonder Shop, I think it was. This larger one was $15 and these smaller ones were $10 a piece. The angels were also $10. I don't know if I said that or not. So a very budget friendly vignette. I think it looks very nice. It pairs really well with the artwork and this is how this space is looking. Now, because we did get new artwork, I had to switch up the tree. Normally I have the tree on this side. I did change it up and put the tree in this corner. And yes, it's a little smushed, but that's okay. Um, I like it in this corner. It's it's not in the way of traffic. And I don't know, I just think it looks really nice. But to tie in the colors of the artwork, I had to change out the tree. Normally I have a green tree in this room. And so this year, I decided to use a white tree. And earlier in a haul, I showed you guys the $39 white tree from Walmart. It has lights already, so I just used that tree. Now the tree is only six feet tall or six and a half feet tall. So I wanted the tree to be a little larger than that. So what I did is I took the tree, I set it on, a base of was it books or a package I don't know a, I think it was a package that I haven't opened yet and it sit there perfectly and then I added the tree collar underneath and inside the tree collar I added a blanket to cover up the base so you can't really even see it now because it was elevated I had to find a way to hide all of that so I bought some really cheap white greenery from Amazon and I added it to the tree. So the tree goes from top to bottom. So we, I, in my humble opinion, have elevated the look of a $39 tree by elongating it and adding to it to make it look bigger and fuller than it really is. And I absolutely love it. So at the top, we have a Target $10 tree. Again, the star is all about guiding everyone to the birth of Jesus. So I feel like the star is important. So I leave the stars on my tree. I have added in some balls. Now, this is where it gets, well, I won't say interesting. So the gold ball at the top is from the Dollar Tree, as well as those little gold like the glitter ones and the um, matte finished gold balls also from the Dollar Tree. These bronzy colored ornaments I brought in because I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of brown in this artwork. So I wanted to tie that in even though brown is not my color. I do absolutely love it. I wanted to have some metallic sheen to the tree so, I have these ornaments that I picked up on Clarence from Home Goods four or five years ago. It was a box of six for $20, and I am just using these faux mercury glass balls. There's three of them here in the tree, and I just added them in a zigzag pattern to keep it kind of cohesive. Now, I also added those gold glitter balls from Hobby Lobby, so, so nice. And then I did cluster ornaments. So you see the cluster of the larger matte finish ball from the Dollar Tree. And then I added some black balls that I already had. So I did clusters of gold, matte gold, and a shiny gold, and then a matte gold 
a glitter ball gold and a black um, glitter ball ornament. This ornament is a DIY. Um, it was an old ornament that I had previously DIYed black. And this one, as you saw earlier, I showed you how I used the gold leaf and we just elevated the look of the ornaments and I absolutely love how they came out. And this ornament came from Joann's. I absolutely love it. I love the little deer. You guys know I love to use deer for Christmas. And when I saw these, these were $9.99 and then I waited till they went 60% off and then I picked up six of them. And I think they look perfect here in the tree. And again, it's bringing in the bronzy color of the paint that, or the painting that you can see slightly there. And then I wanted to add in some iridescent balls. These I picked up from Amazon, but you can find them from the at-home store. Here's another one of the ornaments. I told you guys that I wanted to add a hunter green in here. And again, I couldn't use hunter green, but I didn't want to abandon the idea altogether. So I have just sprinkled little bits of hunter green throughout the tree. This is another one of those DIY ornaments that I made using the gold leaf and yeah, I absolutely love it. I also added some disco ball ornaments and as you guys know, I love um, the way Rebecca Robeson does her Christmas decor and she loves to use spinners. And so I use spinners in the past and I thought, you know what? I wanna use spinners on this tree too. So you may recognize this ornament. It's our faux mercury glass ornament from Pop Shelf. We picked it up. It's a pack of four for $2.50. These spinners came from Amazon. I wanna say it was a pack of two for like $20. I got them like early in the year because if you try to get them now, they are gonna be more expensive. But if you're interested, I will leave them linked down below. And I just tied a simple velvet bow and placed it on the spinner to try to camouflage it just a little bit. I also added these, I like to call them like champagne balls because they have like a little pot, looks like bubbles of champagne to me. And I don't know, I just wanted to add those. And deep inside the tree, you can see that I've added more glitter and matte balls so that your eye goes deeper into the tree and yeah, you don't see a lot of empty space. So this is how my tree has come together. I also added these really pretty velvet ornaments from Hobby Lobby, remember those? I think it was like a pack of four for like $5, I wanna say, or $6, um, but you know, the matte, velvet ornaments are all the rays this year. Uh, this is a DIY, this is a recycled ornament that I also put some gold leaf on. And yeah, oh, and let's talk about this. So I told you guys that I, I was in love with those spears from CB2, but I didn't wanna pay the CB2 money. And I had a beach ball that I got last year that I did not do anything with. I was originally going to do a large ornament last year with these and I didn't. So I thought this year would be perfect. So I spray painted this gold as I showed you earlier. And then when I was at Hobby Lobby, I saw this oversized, this is like a six inch ornament. I need to put some tacky, um, strip on the bottom so it doesn't roll hold on all right so this is one of those command strips that you can get and i am going to stick this tacky side to my ball ornament it's hard to do with one hand as you can see here and then it also has a little velcro so the velcro part is going to stick and my carpet, so I can find it to keep it. And it is giving me the look of those CB2 orbs for a lot less. So this ornament from Hobby Lobby was $12.99, 50% off, so $6 for it. And then I already had this with a little bit of paint that we used. 
I don't know, let's call it, I forget what I paid for those. Let's say it was $10 for a pack of two of these uh, volleyballs. So $16 to give us that pottery bar, or not pottery bar, the CB2 Spear look. I absolutely love how my tree came together and I hope you do as well. Again, it is not your typical tree. It is outside the box. Don't be afraid to step outside the box, guys. Your home doesn't have to look like everyone else's. Make it unique to you. So this is unique to me. We celebrate the birth of Jesus in my home and I want him to be reflected in my Christmas decorating. He is the reason for the season. So love how this came out. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my tree. Next, I'm going to be decorating the fireplace. I'm going to take you along with me when I do that. And then we'll uh, decorate the coffee table. And then this room will be finished. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you the tree. I know uh, Black Friday is coming up. People are going to be out. So I just wanted to show you how I have put my tree together in case you wanted to try to create a similar look. So, if today's video has inspired you, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and become a member of the iStyle iStyle family. I have lots, well not lots, <laughs> a few more Christmas decorating inspiration videos coming up that you don't want to miss. So, with that my friends, well, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my tree. Like I said, it is outside the norm, but I love it and I hope you do as well. So leave me a comment down below. I would love to know your thoughts. With that, my friend, let's take one last look at the tree and I hope to see you in the next one.